In this video, we're checking out three hacks for getting blazing fast double strokes on the drums. Now, before we get into these three hacks, one of which you can do even without sticks, we need to talk about the mechanics inside the hand, inside the grip, when we transition from slow to fast with the double stroke roll. When we play the double stroke slowly, we double wrist, meaning we pivot at the wrist twice per hand as we go. Up and down, up and down, right? Twice. And we can do that slow to about here, to about medium tempo. Now the wrist is really strong and stable, so it's great for those slow and medium tempos, but the trade-off is it's not fast. However, the fingers are fast, if we train them. So what we're gonna be looking at is the uh, finger snap and how to get that second note as loud as the first. So what we're doing when we play a double stroke fast is we're doing one wrist and then a finger snap. So we go one wrist, the stick bounces, and then we snap the stick. And at the same time we come back, we collect the stick, come back, ready for the next double. Okay, so we go. We can see I'm only going up and down once with the wrist. Okay, same with the other hand. And then up, we're not double wristing. We do double wrist when it's slow, but we don't when it's fast, okay? So it's a good thing to practice it, even though this isn't the technique you would use at this slow speed, you definitely wanna practice this technique slow to get an idea on it, okay? Okay, and up at the end. And then if you can do that with both hands, just alternate and that's your double stroke roll okay so from the top it looks like this I gradually change from two wrists and then here at medium I'm one wrist and a finger snap okay now if we don't snap the stick into the hand we get what I don't like which is this bounce method where we get this where the first one's loud and the second one's soft. It's like you're going loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft. And the other problem with that is, of course, that it's not in time either because we're not producing the second note. We're just letting it bounce. So we've got to snap the stick. So what are some exercises and some hacks that we can practice to get the second note as loud as the first, right? So that everything is dead even. The first one, which has been around forever, is we're just going to play doubles, but we're going to play the second note louder than the first. You can see I'm going soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud. And you want to practice this because this is now forcing the, the fingers to produce the motion of the second note. And if they're used to just doing this, where they've actually not ever done anything, now they've kind of got to do everything. Now the good thing about that technique soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, is you've just got to pull the reins back a little bit on it, and voila, you have an even double stroke. Okay, so that's the first thing. That's a technique, that, that's an exercise that's been around forever. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying the free lesson. If you'd like to join an amazing online drumming school where you'll get highly personalized feedback on your drumming, scroll down and click the link below for a free seven day trial of I Can Play Drums Pro. You'll get everything a paying customer gets, including over 700 4K video lessons, 2000 backing tracks, student reviews, feedback and lesson plans, plus the support of an amazing community of like-minded drummers from around the world. Click the link below, sign up, and we look forward to helping you reach your goals soon. The second one, you're going to put your elbow on your wrist like this. I do this sitting in front of the TV, and I get my students to do it as well. And it's an isolation exercise, right? So we're just trying to develop acceleration, all right? What we're trying to do is let the stick come back in the fulcrum like that, and then using the back three fingers only with the wrist dead straight, so we're isolating the fingers, you're going to snap into the palm. Hopefully you can hear my vocal mic that there's a, a click going on. And when you get it fast enough, you'll definitely hear the click. That's quite loud. And especially with your weak hand, you want to do that. All right. So again, this is not how you actually play, of course. We never isolate something deliberately. We would never just play drums and isolate and only use fingers. There's no reason to do that. But what we're trying to achieve here is develop acceleration inside the grip with the fingers because that's, as we've spoken about, a really crucial part of the double stroke technique. All right. So you can just sit there and it's not a fast thing. Don't sit there like that. Just load up on everyone and just get as quick as you can. All right. Just keep a spare pair of sticks stuffed in your couch in front of the TV and just do this a lot. Do it every night. All right. The third hack, which I really like, no sticks at all, is just one hand clapping. Again, I'm doing this near the vocal mic. Hopefully you can 
<laughs> hear that. So all I'm doing is just trying to get really, really quick. I don't know if you've ever seen on YouTube the video of uh, the Bruce Lee one inch punch where he's you know one, one inch away from some, some guy and he sends him flying across the room. It's not that Bruce Lee was super strong. It's not a brute strength thing. It's an acceleration thing. And that's what we're trying to achieve here too. It's not about strength. It's about speed and acceleration from getting from zero to 100 as quick as we can, right? So you can just sit there, alternate. Again, most students that I give this to in the beginning, it's like there's no sound at all. And then eventually... Right? And then eventually you can just play different rhythms. And all of that is going to help the fingers, okay? So once again, let's go through the technique. When we're slow, we double wrist, up and down twice per hand. And then as soon as we get to sort of medium, medium fast, about here for me, whatever the tempo that is, I mean, you could double wrist it, but let's, let's just explore how quick we can go with the wrist, right? Now, obviously, that depends on how quick your wrists are. That's another thing to, tra to train as well. But for me, that'd be like... I'm jammed on white knuckle jammed onto the stick right now. I'm trying to isolate my wrist. Which on the side, it's going to look pretty hideous. It looks like this. But I'll never get beyond that. I'll never get... All right, guys. There you go. That's a few hacks on developing your double stroke roll. Now, remember with your doubles that it's very rare as a drum kit player that you will, A, just play them on the snare drum only and never play them on any other part of the kit, and B, that you just sit there doing a double stroke roll on its own with nothing else. Normally, when we play doubles, it might be with single accents as well. You might be doing triplets. might be around the kit. All right. And also you want to practice, not that I have that issue here because I'm using these silicone heads, which have got a lot of bounce, as do the mesh heads on any E kit. But you know when you play on an acoustic kit and you play around the toms, especially when you get down to like a slack and floor tom skim, there's hardly any rebound at all. So that kind of goes against what we're saying now about using uh, you know, the finger snap. You'll use it for sure, but you'll just realize that because there's no rebound that you've got to use a little bit more wrist. Okay, So really important as a drum kit player that you never just practice only on a practice pad or a snare drum, you must practice all your rudiments on every surface. Even the feeling of hitting you know, the hi-hat on the edge where it's got no bounce compared to the top, where it's got a lot of bounce, you know, that's, that's something that you need to practice as well. So you want to practice your double strokes in all different directions and configurations around the drum kit. Again, kind of cheating in a way here. It's not as hard for me to do that on these E kits as it would be an acoustic kit, but nonetheless, get used to doing different patterns. All right, guys, that's a few different ways that you can get your double sounding nice and quick on the snare. In the next video, we're going to do exactly the same thing with our foot. How do we get the foot to go from this to this? And then we can do... How do we do that? You'll have to check out the next video. See you then. Be sure to click the link below for instant access to your free seven day trial of I Can Play Drums Pro.